The attorneys for Jay Kalani English and Ty Cullen say they are cooperating with federal investigators and will plead guilty to the lesser charge of honest services wire fraud, not bribery. The former lawmakers are accused of accepting thousands of dollars in bribes. The question now is whether their cooperation will lead to others being charged with a crime. Manolo Morales reports. Federal investigators say English and Cullen took bribes with a combined total of more than $40,000 in cash, as well as Las Vegas hotel rooms and chips from a casino in New Orleans. They were never arrested and were charged by information, which legal experts say usually means they've been cooperating with prosecutors. They're either providing historical information to provide the government data and facts regarding the charges that they're facing, or they have set up colleagues, either other leg legislators or city council people or other lawmakers. Experts say the feds could have charged English and Cullen with bribery, which carries a stiffer sentence. And while prosecutors say the former lawmakers could face up to 20 years in prison, experts say they might not serve any time at all. This is a low amount of money under the federal guidelines. So the guidelines in this case are not very high at all. In fact, I would not be surprised if they're in the probation range. Legislative leaders say they are looking at making changes to help prevent this from happening again. This incident does cast a shadow upon our, all of our work. And I know now that everything that we do will be, and it should be, these are really should be uh, heavily scrutinized. Psyche says the House is also reviewing Cullen's voting record on bills. We have begun to look at that. We've also looked at bills that were introduced this year. Um, so we're trying to piece things together. The Senate president sent a statement saying the events that unfolded yesterday were surprising and unfortunate and cast a pall over the legislature. We must rededicate ourselves and work to rebuild the public's trust in government. Manolo Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.